Shove it up your butt if your name's Rick. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. <laughs> yes, I'm Corbin. <laughs> and I'm Rick. And he falls on Instagram, Twitter, juicy oh, content. Thanks, I'm Payton for the Twitter camera. Go on, engage squad. Please don't do that here. Oh, Gross. Yeah. You could have just pretended. No. Well, you said shove it up your butt. I had to take it out. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Uh, today we are reacting uh, to something. I hope so. This is a reaction channel. <laughs> today we're reacting to some Dino James. Dino James? You don't say it. Do you remember Dino James? I do. Yeah. We've reacted to a couple of his couple stuff. A couple of his stuff. Uh, this one's called Unstoppable. Dino Unstoppable. James. That's what my colon is. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Donald James is known for his amazing and mostly motivational lyrics in his songs like the ones you've watched. Mirage, Nidar, and about his dog Hancock, which was so good. So good. So I'm expecting the exact same amount of brilliancy and beautifulness. Um, brilliancy? Brilliancy. I like it. It's a word. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, hello. Please, 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 Look into the mirror. I'm not going to 
Tilotama and Mohit. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I like him. I like Dino James. Very much. I like that. Every, he, at least from what we've heard, he likes to do stories uh, about different things. And not, the, the song got really about, at least, oh, some of, I think one was about, I, I can't remember, but they're mostly not about him. Mm -hmm. It's, he's telling, he, he's using himself to tell this story. Right. Of, of this woman who uh, is a bigger woman and she's struggling to get into shape. Mm -hmm. And it's a struggle for a lot of people, mm -hmm. especially in America. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I, I believe you've said for a long time that dude, that's one of your most inspiring things as somebody who's 100% really out of weight and struggling, I've, but working really hard to get to where they need to. I've, uh, when if I see somebody jogging who's out of shape, Mm -hmm. I, I've, I've my natural instinct. My kids can vouch for it. We'd be in the car, and I'd see somebody jogging who's really out of shape and just panting, and they're barely even at a walking pace, but they're pushing. It makes me clench a fist and scream and go, "Yes!" And someone who's of her physique at the gym, mm -hmm. that's a freaking warrior because it is so hard on so many levels to even walk into a gym yeah. when you're not in shape. Everything inside of you, know, when you work out all the time, your body craves it. Mm -hmm. You want the gym. Mm -hmm. you're, it's not a sacrifice to go to the gym. Yeah. When you're out, if I, like with lockdown, I haven't been able to go to the gym like I want to. Thankfully, Scott has let me go and use his gym. Mm -hmm. But I miss being in that atmosphere. And I remember during the lockdown, I went like three months without working out. Yeah. And getting back into it at three months, the mindset is really hard. When you're like that, mm -hmm. maybe haven't worked out, everybody's looking at you, you feel embarrassed, your body's saying no, your mind is saying no. What's the, the, thing? the willpower it takes to do that and do it, it, and I guess that was the trigger for her that made her finally say enough is enough. I was glad to see this wasn't about the guy at the end. Oh yeah. You know, this was for her, that she was alone in the gym, nobody, her trainer wasn't there. She just did the thing and the lights went out and she was in the gym that it wasn't about, I'm going to do this to get the guy. It was about, you know what? I'm not healthy. I'm going to take control of my health. I'm going to do what I've been wanting to do for a while. That's the reason you go and do that. Mm -hmm. Because there's a lot of people that size that couldn't just go to a gym and work out and don't go to a gym and work out or start a workout program if you haven't worked out without consulting a doctor. Uh, it's just great message. 
Yeah. Great message. I like the and line. good song. I like the line in it uh, that said, what was it? I think it was like, um, have some, have respect for yourself, become a rebel, I think is yeah. what it said or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm always for being a rebel. Yeah. And, and for those of you that can't do the workouts, you know, some people have injuries, some people have um, hyperactive thyroid, some people have many reasons why they can't get into a physical shape that they want to be. Guys... I think if y'all know this, the natural condition of human beings is is not to look like what you see on the covers of magazines and on Instagram posts by celebrities that are sponsored. You know, you, it, be be okay with who you are when you are powerless to change it for whatever reasons there are. And when you do have the power, do it. Uh, I, I really liked, I especially liked the verses. Those were really, really good lyrics. Yeah, I like I like him a lot. I, I like that he, uh, what he, he chooses to make songs about it's not about bitches in the club yeah <laughs> it's about actual storytelling right and, and that's unfortunately at least it's it, i'm sure it's in india but it, especially in america a lot of just rap that's what it is it's, yeah it's club music and you know that's a thing yeah there's and, a, which there's always a place for there's that. a place for that but for when sure. that's all you do yeah it gets it becomes a one string guitar yeah absolutely yeah. so yeah this was great let us know more dino james we should react to down below and other independent artists we can react to let us know down below <laughs> Look, <laughs> <laughs>